So this is the review of the Honda Journo or the Honda Metropolitan if you're from the US. A uh, few remarks on uh, why I'm making this. Really it's an overview, it's not a review, it's not very critical. Uh, it has one competitor, this uh, scooter. It, uh, it's the Yamaha Vino. And the Yamaha Vino is more expensive by $300, I think, more or less. But there was a special this fall. Honda had a special and they took off another $300. So I think if it would have cut, there would only been a $300 difference, I would have bought the, the Yamaha Vino because I had one maybe 12 years ago and it was very good. So what's the difference between this bike and the Yamaha? Well, two things. One, the Yamaha is liquid cooled and this one here is air cooled, so that's a less sophisticated system. And also there's a pump for the uh, gas tank whereas this one it uses gravity also i think i don't know why but i seem to remember having a little bit more cargo space under the seat in the vino however the 600 dollars of difference made me buy this bike um, the suspension is extremely soft making it very comfortable however i find myself bottoming out the suspension which makes the bike feel cheap the fuel economy despite the less sophisticated cooling system is excellent about one liter per 50 kilometers in city driving so that's really awesome and also another thing i like about this scooter and it doesn't make very much noise uh, i'm gonna start it up here and you guys can start it up all right so that's lit up not a lot of noise even when you accelerate there isn't a lot of noise so it's really uh it's a mature scooter, if you know what I mean. Uh, a couple of things that they distinguish themselves is these little hooks here. These are for bags. I find those very useful when you're carrying groceries. And also there's two storage bins here. You can easily put a little bottle of water or whatever. Um, apart from that, it's very similar to the competition. It has pretty much all the same things. The speedometer, fuel, lights, turn signal, and engine warning. So there's a catalytic converter in back and I'm very satisfied with this uh, with this bike. So that's pretty much the review of this bike. Oh, another thing, uh, when you ex I find the engine maybe is a bit weaker than on the Yamaha. So I think there's a bit more fuel economy on this one, I think. But I could be mistaken. I mean, I had that Yamaha maybe 10 years ago and I used it for about a year and a half or two years. So really good vehicles for uh, going in the city. Got a cute little PGM FI sticker here. It does have fuel infection, fuel injection, but it's two valves per cylinder, and I think the Yamaha is three valves per cylinder. So I think the Yamaha is a little bit more sophisticated than this one, but it costs a bit less. This one. So up to you. Pick yours. I had a great experience with the Yamaha. I guess I was attracted by the Honda Special, which is why I bought this one at the end of the season. Um, I think both are good and I think probably both are very reliable both don't require a lot of maintenance so um, like this video if you like it subscribe and if you have any questions leave it in the comments or maybe share your experience in the comments I'd like to hear from you